So yeah, I would like to talk about the Trump administration. I don't know how uh, emotional you you might get uh, in response to what's going on there, but as as everyone knows, you know Donald Trump and his uh, the people that he has appointed in his cabinet to to head up his administration have been well known for for being climate change deniers. Uh, and and there was an interview that Scott Pruitt, who is the head of the EPA, uh, he had said something uh, recently. He said, here's the issue. Uh, to have any kind of focus on the cause and effect of the storm versus helping people or actually facing the effect of the storm is misplaced. All I'm saying to you is to use time and effort to address it at this point is very, very insensitive to the people of Florida. So he's essentially trying to sidestep the issue and say that this is not the time to talk about climate change. This is not the time to discuss the science and and the real real time, real world effects of what anthropogenic climate change is, is doing. Uh, we need to focus on rescue efforts and evacuation and, and you know, all of that. Um, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I just wanted to get dis- your th- I want to get your thoughts. I on can't that. disagree more. And, and in fact, in many cases, uh, more so in the case of Harvey than uh, with Irma, these people are living with the consequences of really bad decisions, the lack of preparation and uh, and planning and recognition that climate change is actually happening the the lack of um, regulations in the houston area the lack of planning with decent uh, drainage systems the lack of planning for any uh, evacuations that are inevitably going to have to happen i mean they had major flooding there in april of last year and uh, and exactly this kind of thing could well well maybe not quite this magnitude but this sort of thing was was very much expected and has been uh, talked about by scientists and unless people recognize that they are paying for the consequences of inaction and, and poor regulations then it's going to happen again and we've seen that after Katrina with Katrina um, mm. You know, the Corps of Engineers built back the levees to withstand a Category 3 storm. The, the New Orleans area is not prepared for the, a Category 5 storm hit or, or anything like the kind of two events that we've just seen. And yet it will happen sooner or later. Maybe it'll be later, but, uh, you know, and they'll they'll be lucky. But there's not enough planning going on for this. We're not we're not stopping the problem from happening we're withdrawn from the we're planning to withdraw from the paris agreement and we're not planning for the consequences uh, adapting to climate change building resilience and we're not helping other countries around the world through the green fund to do that either because uh trump is no longer contributing to the green fund and yet we have an ethical and moral responsibility to do that right 